there are a lot of tests and roundup about pedals on the internet and on YouTube, but they have all one thing in common, they are all audio. So I thought it would be interesting to have a visual demonstration and test on pedals using a simple oscilloscope like this one, it's an old analog one, and sending a sine wave with this little device from China into the pedal and watching it on the oscilloscope doing its own wave and compare the wave between the pedals. So let's start with a very popular device, the overdrive pedal. So let's start with the classic Ibanez TS9 overdrive pedal. I've chosen this model because of its looks. It was the 30th anniversary pedal which was green and stuff but somebody scratched off the green pellicule so now it's chrome, beautiful chrome, but it has a classic TS9 sound. So um, here is the sign we're sending to the pedal, passing through the buffer. And now we're gonna start the pedal. So here is it a medium setting, all knobs on noon, and it's not exactly what it was expected, it's not a rounded sign or a rounded square or something. And let's see what happens if we push the drive. It doesn't affect the, the, the wave very much. So here's the volume, which has expected the result. The more the volume, the biggest the sine wave. Well, it's not exactly a sine wave anymore. And now uh, if we push the tone, we see it coming near a square, not exactly, but and if we uh, turn off the, the tone it's very much like a triangle wave so we can expect to smooth the signal by turning off the tone, which is the case so it's interesting this is the signature image of the TS9 the second pedal will be the Boss uh, Blues Driver pedal, BD2. And uh, here it's on the same noon mid rim settings. And we're turning the pedal on and see what happens. And it's very different. It's more like a fuse pedal, I mean a square uh, wave. So let's try to, to diminish the gain. And it's still the same wave which varies consistency through the, throughout the, the gain setting. Let's see with the tone. The tone doesn't do much. And the level works as usual. So you see it's a very different signature from the TS9. It's more like what you should call a rounded square wave. So it's very interesting. The third pedal is a Nobles, Vintage Nobles ODR1 Overdrive which is quite famous. The old one has a great town, which is supposed to be a good TS9 town, in fact. Much be, maybe better or something, but let's see how it works. So, yes, it's very similar to the, to the TS9 wave. Let's put some more drive, and it has the same effect. So here, at zero drive, we'll go back to the sign. The spectrum, which is supposed to be a tone control, which go much further than the TS9, as you can see. And the level, which is incredible, <laughs> which is really incredible, I mean, in terms of volume. But uh, it's, it's similar to the TS9. The, the differences come in high settings, when the, the tone control is high or low, the, Settings are quite different, but the, the first wave it was much more similar to the TS9 than was the Blues Driver, for example. And last but not least is my pedal, the Overtube, which has, as you can see, always the same pattern because of TS9-like overdrive. And but the difference is come when we come up with the drive; it's still the same. Even with the tone control, it keeps the same waves. Now the level works. 
and we're on the cascade off, of course. And if we put on the cascade, we'll see a slight difference here. I set on noon settings. If we put the, just the difference is very slight on the oscilloscope, but because they're more harmonics, but maybe a better oscilloscope or something, but uh, you can see there's some differences in the shape of the top, the peaks of the the wave. So it's interesting to see that more or less you what you can expect of a wave of an overdrive pedal. This is the end of the first episode of Fuse Spotting, so, so some disclaimers now. First of all, this is by no means a scientific uh, approach of the sound. It's just for fun, just comparing the, the waves of the pedals and see what happens on an oscilloscope. So I think it was quite interesting. And the uh, second point, uh, excuse my English. I'm French, so I do what I can, I do my best. And uh, most of all, thank you for watching.